You are now live with City Council. Please state your name and address, and your five minutes will begin. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I'm the York City Kudos, City Resident. Last meeting, I promised you a recounting of why, really, we have comments from the public at the end of our meetings. The story starts, as I observed it, with a whisper campaign that the now chair of the Planning Commission had started about a group called Nexus Services. At the time, I didn't see what was so especially terrible about them. Yes, they had an unsavory business model, but there was other blood money flowing through the donor veins of the city. Uh, I didn't see what made them especially bad compared to some others, including uh, including those which were responsible uh, for breaking organized labor in this country, for destabilizing governments in other countries that contributed to our influx of refugees, that were implicated in the flow of guns and the flow into those countries and the flow of crack cocaine into our urban communities. In retrospect and in context, I didn't see what the so terrible thing was about this particular group, but, but so, so it was, and our community was set at each other's throats, some aligning, some aligning in other ways, and there was great disruption. And fighting for their lives, that entity started to appear before city council. And they had some issue with their elected officials and used their First Amendment rights in ways that the city attorney apparently didn't approve of last meeting, but they were their First Amendment rights. Uh, the concern that Mr. Jones raised was that this was taking a lot of time. Now, uh, I approached the now chair of the Planning Commission with another a potentially problematic issue, and that didn't seem to rise to the same level of concern. I brought him a letter to the Daily Cardinal uh, insisting on being uh, issues with feminists and insisting on being able to use words like anchor babies and uh, pejorative words for people with mental disabilities, starting with R and very pejorative and uh, also tweeting by the same name, the power of Paul Nalen, retweeting a tweet by Ann Coulter. Paul Nalen being identified by the Southern Poverty Law Center is the leading exponent of white terrorism in the country today. Maybe Mr. Russ can tell us why that letter was taken down from the Daily Cardinal and what the uh, real intent was behind retweeting that as those had Mr. Russ's name on them. But uh, the chair of the Planning Commission didn't seem to take this as something to be of concern. Something that was taken as being of concern was a second, whisper, a second moral panic that the chair of the Planning Commission started, which was short-term rentals that we've just been dealing with. And we just saw in the recent Planning Commission report how that far eclipsed any amount of time with Nexus Services and groups that some claimed were related to them may have been taking at the beginning of city council comment from the public. What was done was a restriction on the presentation of public comment, seemingly if we interpret city attorney last time, based upon the content, based upon his opinion that they were abusing, that people were abusing their rights. Uh, Mr. Jones's concern, he articulated in a very different way, in a way that I think surely reflected how badly things turned out afterward and how maybe misguided it was to take away from the public that, per that opportunity to use their opportunity for counsel from the public to organize and have genuine civic participation that for whatever unsavory characters may have been involved in one place or another, made our incarceration rate plummet and included all people in Caller, our community. Caller, you have 30 seconds. As our Martin Luther King Jr. Way street renaming did 10 years before what is being presented by the city now. As our Martin Luther King Jr. Way street renaming did 
on the heels of arguing for business gardens and arguing for embracing nature as 10 years later an officially sanctioned art project is doing. Will that art project reflect the 10 year prior street thing that came from the people? Caller, your time is up. Please join us for People's Day this year and let us think about all these things, Madam Mayor. Thank you.